Life is better underground. Hey everybody, it's me, Loki, Loki9, and we are returning to the world of The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, and I did a little bit of off-screen cooking for today's preparations, because we are indeed going underground, and apparently that is a very bad place to be, because you take permanent damage to your health, unless you return to the surface, or eat some sunny fried wild greens, restores heart damage, made by Gloom, a basic vegetable dish made by sautéing fresh wild plants. So, that is indeed going to be very useful on our adventures today as we go onwards and downwards into the depths of Hyrule. I hope you're doing well, I hope you're doing good, and we are going to, well, begin. Let's go. Let's go. I hope you're doing good, 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 good. I want to try and catch up with this guy, see if I can't purchase some wares. My kind sir! The horses look happy. Hello. Oh, sorry. My kind madam. Hi there. Welcome to Rolling Pastures. What a wide open prairie. The horses around here look so carefree as they graze and gallop. You know how to capture a horse, right? You sneak up on them very, very quietly from behind and that's it. Now, how about sampling some of Hateno Village's finest? Sure. Uh, oh, oh, these are actually some things that are quite hard to come by. So I'm going to buy two milk, two goat butter, uh, two goat butter, two egg. Because I want to make a hemkin a cake. A hemkin cake would be good. And I did use all my eggs in my cooking, so. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let's actually go and use one of our little tonics that we do indeed have. Because I have some speed up elixirs. Some elixirs. There we are. Some elixirs. Zooming. Oh lord, I'll be zooming. Oh. <gasps> Honey? Honey. Okay, are the bees going to come after me? Yes. Whew. Honey! Nice. Corsa bee honey. Honey straight from the hive is chock full of nutrients. Cooking this into a meal unlocks the potential of these nutrients and provides a stamina recovery effect. Beautiful. Okay then. Oh. Oh, I see something. It's a sparkly fruit. Sparkly fruit. Dazzle fruit. Okay. Hmm. Hyrule Field Chasm. I need to get around there. Do not touch the goop. Do not touch the goop. Do not scoop the goop. Goop bad. Goop bad. Hello, buddy. I wonder if Robbie is okay. Did he fall down there? Don't tell me you fell down. Whoa, whoa. Hey, you again? I told you not to sneak up on me. Can't you see him right on the edge of this chasm? My colleague who works with me on the Zonai survey team is down there. Oh, nice. Who dat? What would happen if I slipped and fell on him, huh? Huh? Don't startle me again. I'm deep in my investigation work at the moment. Do I need to go down there? Well, I guess we're going in. Allons-y. And all that good stuff. Oh. Oh, I don't like this. Oh. Oh, that's Hemkin spooky right now. That's Hemkin Spooky! Okay... The Depths... Hi! <laughs> How's it going? Ah. Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you, I am Ponic from the Sonai Survey Team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived. But he rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough Bright Bloom Seeds and now I've run out. So I lost sight of him. I thought he was taking a short walk over to that glowing area over there. Then he just kept going. And going. And last I saw him, he was heading way out there off to the west. Do you have any bright bloom seeds with you? I do. Ah. Oh, that's great news. Light from the surface doesn't reach down here, as you might have noticed. You'd be risking your life to wander here without a light source, you know. 
You can easily get bright bloom seeds from caves and they'll light up if struck, so they're pretty easy to use. We use the seeds all the time uh, on the Zonai Servo team. The simplest way is to throw them with your hand. So yeah, you can uh, ready to throw and then hold a material. Those of us skilled enough with a bow will attach them to arrows and fire them off into the distance down here. I can do that as well, yeah. Ah. If you're going to explore the depths, take plenty of these seeds with you. Okay. It's a little hemp and spooky. But uh, I guess we've just got to go, right? I do have a food which will help me glow. Uh, which is uh, this. A bright fish skewer. And also a bright mushroom skewer. So I'm going to numb one of these. Ang. Yum, 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 yum. <sighs> so I'm going to glow slightly, but not much. So I do need to be mindful. Are these fairies? What are these? Deep Firefly, a multi-winged insect that lives in the depths. It excretes luminescent elements that can be cooked into an elixir, which will add a faint glow to anyone who consumes it. Okay, so we want to try and grab some of these then. Okay, so I've got some of those. I'm also going to go... Like this. Uh, if I can find those heck in the seeds. Where are they? Where are they? There they are. Wonderful. Okay, and I'm going to use a, a more trash bow for this. For this purpose. Okay. Now, what is this? Nsoyge Light Root. Central Hyrule Depths. Okay, let's examine this. Is this going to light up like a big area? Oh, you know what? It might. Oh, okay. Yep. Light mode is now on. Hmm. Oh, okay. So I can teleport here now. Okay. The light fruit dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Okay. And it healed me slightly. Okay, maybe I didn't need to eat the glow thing, but that was useful at least. Okay, and they said that he was going towards the fires, so we should probably follow these fires. See if he left any clues behind. He did! Note on the table, hey you! It's really dark down here. Not one bit of light gets down from the surface. Even with my goggles, I can hardly see. I really should have brought some bright bloom seeds with me. As one of the few sources of light, the glowing root growing down from above has piqued my curiosity. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks harmless enough. This place is roughly under the shrine on the surface. Hmm. Anyway, I'm off to the glowing root I see shining west of here, so you better hurry up and get moving. West. West. Uh, so north, north is facing, so north, east, south, so I need to go this way, towards that glowing route, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, but I am going to have to go around so this goop. I do not wish to touch the goop. Do not scoop the goop. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Oh, seeing more mushrooms. And other... Wild resources. Muddle bud. A wildflower with a powerful odour that can disorientate and confuse, making it difficult to tell friend from foe. Metal buds. Puff shrooms. Okay. There's some interesting flora and fauna down. Well, flora so far. I've not seen any fauna. Um, yes. Hey, you. Still alive? Looks like this place is swimming in gloom. Get too close to that stuff, and you're asking for trouble. If a guy didn't have any bright blooms, it'd be curtains. Then again, it's my first time down here, and I haven't kicked the bucket, so I'm sure you'll be fine. I've just spotted something off interest through my goggles. It's shaped like that figure Joshua wanted us to find. I'll be continuing to head west towards one of those glowing routes I see ahead. See you soon. Okay. So we just need to move towards this bloom. 
and be very aware of stuff around us. Okay, is that a resource? Ah, resources sparkle slightly, okay. That's something. Okay, I see fires, which isn't necessarily a good thing. Okay. Oh dear. Let's light up this area a little. Okay. Okay, we are attracting their light. Now, I need to use a little bomb arrow on this guy. Okay. And again. Beautiful. <gasps> Zonite! Yes! Zonite! Give! Beautiful. So much good Zonite. Oh. This guy looks a little, uh... Got him. Okay. Another model bard. More zonite. Oh, the zonite went everywhere because I hit it with the explosive. Whoopsie. Whoopsie daisy. Come here, you. And you. Coblin horns. It's a load of good resources down here, but I can understand the whole risk reward situation of, uh, you know, you don't want to get hit, so you definitely need more ranged weapons. Moblin horn. A hard horn that resulted from a skull mutation. Attach it to a weapon to increase its attack power, or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. An elixir. Uh, let me have some more sparkles, please. Some more sparkles. Where are the sparkles? No. Uh, this is the only downside with this system is that it's a little um, difficult to navigate sometimes. I can sort by most used though. Yeah, there we go. So we'll sort by most used. That makes sense. Come here. Yeah, got ya. Okay, I should have... There it is. Spiked Iron Ball Hammer. This will... Large Zonite. Zonite of especially high purity. Ooh, that's a fresh thing. The amount of energy concentrated in it allows for much higher power output than regular Zonite. Nice. Okay, well, I feel like I'm doing good right now. Let's keep going. Towards the bud. Towards the buddy. That is a lot of... Uh... Lot of little guys. Give me all the little guys. Come with me, little guys. Come with me. And I'll show you a wonderful world, I promise. Who did? Fire. Oh dear. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Okay. Okay. Back it up for a second. I don't have a bow. Oh, fairy. Let's go. What is that? 
Okay. Okay. Luckily the fairy saved me there. What is dropping? Nice. Okay. Okay. Well, we lost a fairy, but that's fine. We've got three of those. Now, what was dropped here? Aracuda wing. A large, wide Aracuda wing. Arrows and thrown weapons fly further with this item attached, even in a slight wind. Aracuda eyeball. This eyeball is constantly trying to focus on its targets. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir, or attach it to an arrow to grant a honing... Uh, sorry, a homing quality to it. Interesting. And I also missed out on some more Zonite over here. We do not want to let any Zonite get out of my uh, possession, so need to be careful there. Okay. So hopefully that was everyone. Definitely feels a lot more dangerous down here. So we need to be very careful. Okay. I thought that was a Korok then for a second. No, it's just another muddle bud. Okay. Metal bed. It's a fun word to say, metal bed. <laughs> Beautiful. And it makes all such a satisfying sound. Such a satisfying sound. I don't know why they're trying to um, camp on the resource, though. And remember, we need like a hundred for another battery. Or to improve a battery, I should say. So, do need to be aware of that. I'm a little lost right now. Should I make my way towards... Ah! Should I make my way over here? Okay. How far away are we? Oh, this map is massive. This is scary. <laughs> okay. Hopefully these don't, like, run out of light or anything. Okay. Just keep throwing them. Keep seeing what we can do. Make our way through the darkness. Ooh. Okay, there you are. Yaiusus light root. Interesting. What are you doing out here? <laughs> Robbie! Hey you, you're finally here! Take a look at this! Huh. I can barely make it out, but this statue here is standing tall on two legs, one arm raised high. It looks an awful lot like the figure Joshua showed us on that piece of slate, don't you think? Even if it is, it's too dang dark! If only that huge glowing root could go give off more light, well... I'm more than happy to help you with this. Ha ha. What can we see now? So we've got another... Oh! Okay. The light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Okay. Now, what can we see, Robbie? 
What can we see? Huh. Interesting. What? Look how bright that thing got. The light down in the dark is downright refreshing. Hmm, in fact it's so luminous it's almost like... Like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. Now let's get a better look at this thing. This statue is standing tall on two legs, one arm raised high. It looks an awful lot like the figure Joshua showed us on that piece of slate, don't you think? Alright, get the camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right, I forgot you hadn't used the camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given it's one of the Pura Pad's basic features. Hmm, give me that Pura Pad for a second, alright? Well, there's the problem. Your camera is locked, and so is your high wall compendium. Hang on. If I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this, and then you tap that, and... Camera! Capture images using the Pura Pad. You can then save them to the album. Oh boy, here we go. 92 creatures. Boom. Now you should be able to use both the camera and the high wall compendium. So go, capture a picture of that statue. This is a good chance to verify that it's working properly too. Test it out. Experience is the best teacher after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I want to see how it looks. Smell for the camera, fella. Yes. Perfect. Hey you! How'd that go? If you've captured an image of that statue with your camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it looks! Ho ho! <laughs> Don't know why I decided to do a Mickey Mouse at the end there. I think it's the hair. So, did you get a good picture? Stupendous! Looks like you captured well. I'm sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Lighting up that immense route, getting us a picture of the statue. You've just started helping us research what's down here, but soon enough we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time I head back up to the surface. See you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Joshua wait too long for that picture. Okay, camera work in the depths. Where is Hemkin Spooky? Really Hemkin Spooky. I want to go back to uh, boo -boo -boo, the map. I do want to go back over this way. So I can actually um, like rise up out of this darkness. Because it is heckin' spooky. And I like it. And I want to actually ride a hot air balloon. That'd be fun. <laughs> Who doesn't want to ride a hot air balloon? Right? 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 <laughs> Plus, I might be able to find some more resources and take pictures of them. Hmm. Nah, I, I, I want a good picture. That's a good picture. Deep Firefly. One added. Okay. One of many. Plus, you've got to help with the research, right? Okay, that doesn't class as a thing. <gasps> yes, puff shroom. Puff shroom. The mighty puff shroom. Come here, you. The mighty bomb flower. Yes. I didn't really take too many. Ooh, what was that? Scary choo choo. Ah. Okay. The mighty choo choo jelly. <laughs> There we go. I did not like those choo-choos. They were scary choo-choos. Oh, bother. 
That counts, right? Stout Coblin. Uh, okay, I'm running. I'm Audi. Nope. Not interested. Just keep picking stuff, step up. Ow. Got him. Ugh. Give me that. There we go. The Cobbling Arm. Is this not what a picture of the Zonite? No. Okay. I'll we'll grab that. Uh, do we not want a picture of... Yes, we do! The Cobbling Horn! Hmm. So I bet one of the things for the um, newspaper is going to be like, take pictures of all these things. The Cobbling Arm, that's a lot of damage. A skeletal arm that keeps moving even after it's severed from its body. It's kind of gross to strap it to your back, but it'll do it in a pinch. It's old and fragile, so it will easily break. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of... I've actually got some decent weapons right now. If I do this, hold on, eh. and fuse, I can fuse this to my boomerang. That's 31 damage. Like that. That's just mad. Anyway, uh, and then I'm also going to get this sturdy stick as well for 27 damage. Nice. Got a lot of two-handed weapons here. But we're definitely getting our, our damage up, which is good. Can't carry any more melee weapons. No, I cannot. Okay. Let's get back up to the surface. After I've got a few more of these. Don't spook them. No spooking. There we go. Get out of my shop, please. <laughs> Muddle bud. Let's get a picture of that muddle bud. Muddle bud. Lukey a oh, wing. Oh wow. What this? It's a muddle bud. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I've got to keep heading that way. I do have one heart that is broken, but uh, I will be able to get back up to the surface soon. And in fact, this is a good time to check if this works. It does. Nice. Okay, so I don't have to return to the surface to feel those. That is good to know. Good, good. Why is there a plant thing here? Wait, wait what? Camera work on the depths. Oh. Wait, what does my log say? Head to lookout landing and show the picture to uh, to Joshua. Okay. I guess I'm just going this way then. More muddle buds. This is going to be so useful on the surface. Mm, good. Good. Oh, I can't go that way. Um... How am I gonna get out of here? Uh, I thought I had to leave via that. Hyrule Field Chasm, yeah. But there's no quick way out. He took the bloody, um, hair balloon, didn't he? Rude. Well, I guess I've just gotta. Teleport out if I can. I can, good. <laughs> I wanna invite the hot air balloon up. Mer. Horriblins, these cave dwelling monsters are formidable foes. Okay, and we're popping up here. 
Whew. 13 shrines. Nice. Two lookout towers. We're not doing too badly for ourselves so far. Not doing too badly for ourselves. Let's go talk to Josha. Hopefully they'll give me some more stuff. Success! Hey, you! Show Josh the picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well, and it looks darn cool, too. This is it! This does match what's on the fragment. Thank you, swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. Which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is... a big, big, big discovery! Now what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping with this stage of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? Yes. Zona eight. I need a hundred though. An unusual uh, mineral that has many purposes. Ancients extracted energy from it and refined it for the crafting of weapons and armor. Hmm. I feel as if these contain some kind of strange power. Like maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you find them useful. That fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. Hmm. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles! Swordsman! Thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. Camera work on the depths complete. And do you have any more missions for me, Josha? Now that I know fragments like this uh, can help us see the depths in a new way, I'll be searching my collection for more. I'll let you know if that leads to a new breakthrough. Until then, you should probably focus on the investigations that I'll cast you with. Okay, and those are... Probably the regional phenomenon, yeah. Okay. So for now... We wish to continue exploring. And that exploration is... I guess up... Not there, because that's rip. Uh, we're closer by to Misko's treasure. That's the shock one, so I'm not too fussed about that. We will go to the red and then the yellow pin. Because there should be some stables that way. So, red, yellow. Cool. Let's go. I can get launched into the air for this as well. And I'm going to nom a quick snack. Nom nom. Nom. Okay, let's get launched into the air and go towards the red. Whee! Beautiful. <laughs> nice. So cool. Just such a fast way to get around. Whee! Central Hyrule Sky Archipelago. Okay, let's see if we can find any shrines from up here. See if they're shouting at me. I see something with a bit of gloom. I see a shrine this way. No, that's not gloom, okay. Yeah, so we want to go to the red. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Ah! No copyright! <laughs> Scram! Oh, that, that was me. Uh, no copyright me! <laughs> there we go. I've got your screen going so I can do the moderating thing. I see. Ooh, that was close. Don't want to fall to my death. No. no. See a burp. That's not a burp. What's that? That's no bird. It's a mm. spicy pepper. Nice. Spicy peppers are norm. Oh, there's a well! Hold it. Oh, 
Oh, I actually flubby rushed a tree. Great. That should do, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. But I saw a well. Rusty Halberd. Eh. It's in the ground, so we can't tell what it is. Oh, that's fun. I like that. Okay, well, well, well. 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 <laughs> nice. Whee! Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, oof. made me panic then. Don't do that. What are you? Like, like. Interesting. Let's get some other... That's a bonflower. See what else we can see. See what else we can see. Bright bloom seed! Yes. Getting these pictures... Ooh. Sticky lizard! Sticky lizard. Okay. So, I need to pop this guy open. And then... I need to get him. Can do it again. Got him. Whew. Wait, what is that? Picture time. Like, like stone. Fun. Okay. And then a treasure chest. Like like stone, a strange round stone from a like like, made of crystallized inner fluids. It's a good ingredient for elixirs. Nice. Kick it. Soldier shield! Oh, that's brilliant. A shield once used by the guards of a high wall castle. It's easy to handle, but its core is made of wood, so it can catch fire. Oh. Glowy cavefish. Glowy cavefish. Oh no! Fishy! Poor fishy! Just gonna grab all these. Okay. Now, question. Do bright bloom seeds... No, they do nothing against it. Got it. Got it. Oh, I didn't get it. There you go. Now I got it. It's not dead. Die! <laughs> go away. Oh, they have a lot of stuff in them. No another sh soldier shield? Wait, what? Um... Drop that. Why do they have soldier shields down here? I hope they haven't eaten soldiers. That is spooky. Okay. Oh, I didn't take a picture of the soldier shield, but I can of the traveler shield. Boop. Nice. Okay. Or deposit. Or deposit. <laughs> yeah, ha, ha. Nope. Yeah, ha, ha. Nope. Uh, I've still got the spike ball hammer, so. Let's grab what we can while we're down here. It's a decent chunk of cash. These bomb flowers as well are also incredibly useful. 
Nice. Okay. That was a lot of treasure for a little well. I like the wells. They're very good. Ooh. Okay, only way for me to get out of here, really, is the ascendability. There we go. Beep boop! Okay, uh, we are going... Oh, that's a verb. Oh, that's ascend. That's a verb. Blue-winged heron. Thank you. Ha, ah, nature photography. I dig it. Hmm. Now, we need to get up there. So, let's get up there. Okay, and we're up. Okay, can I not take a picture of shrines? No. Ishidag Shrine! Lovely. Now, there is... Ooh. No, can't take a picture of the Zonai technology, unfortunately. Now, what is going on here? We did. Oops. Whoopsie. Okay, you can't break those, so we will indeed need to use these. What am I picking up when I have Ultra Hand? Come on, Brain. Oh. Whoops. Let me just grab this one. Come on. There it is. Thank you. Spiky Club. A tree branch with an added grip and excellent balance. Equip it and use it as a weapon. Um... No, I like my other ones, thanks. Whee! What's that? Okay. Hmm. In we go. To another shrine! Two-handed excavation. When you want to dig through sediment or break ore deposits, two-handed weapons are especially effective. A windy device. Oh, okay. I see where we're going. Uh, I want a quick, quick poke. Oh, wow, you did it! Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, glue that to that. Yeah. Sorted. Sorted. Okay, bring that close. Map this. Nothing over there. Okie dokie. Pop this down. Poke. Wee. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. And I see that this is also... Ah, I see what I need to do here.
And then... Uh, beep, 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 boop. Nice. I could have used another fan to get up on this, but... Opal! Beautiful. And then... Different thing right here. Uh... Stick it underneath. No? Hmm. Maybe it needs two? Maybe it needs two. I mean, there are technically two here. No, let's, uh... There it is. Yes! Yeah, higher! Higher! <laughs> Did it! The wind! The wind! Oh dear. Visit to the shrine of light that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You've done well to reach this place. Why, thank you. Oh, we offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Even though there's, no, there's no explosives, you know, like boomy zoomy all over the place, it still feels like there's a lot of maneuverability in this game. <laughs> Lukey's done the thing again where they like to turn the uh, the bedding inside out. What are you doing? I see you. <laughs> Lukey's being silly. Can't see you. Mm, sure. Oh dear. Click, click, clack. Okay. Let's get to that next shrine. Cave creatures. Caves and wells have their own native flora and fauna. Interesting. Like those like likes. Which I do not like like. They are scary. Uh, I want some speed food. Some newmies. Yum. Let's go with those newmies. Newman. Okay, and, and then I got out of range. Interesting. I see a thing for wheels and boats and stuff. Okay, I see you, friend. Still learning these buttons. Water Octorok. Thank you, buddy. Come on. Do it again. <laughs> Sucker. Okay, I'm gonna have to get, get in and get that. Octo balloon. Ow. You know what? You suck. I'm gonna parry you. Parry this, you filthy cathedral. Angie. Oh, I see an eyeball. I want that eyeball. Octorok Tentacle. This can only be obtained from an Octorok type enemy. It's too acidic for cooking, but it's highly valued as an ingredient for elixirs. Octorok Eyeball. This can only be obtained from an Octorok type enemy. Its nature is to focus on a moving object. Attach one to an arrow to grant a homing quality to the arrow. Nice. Okay, so we've got some boats and stuff. Or well, we can have some boats and such. 
But I want to go over here. Yaha? Yeah, huh? No, yaha. Yeah, huh? Okay. Excuse me. Coming up. Pretty flowers. Dazzle fruit. Oh, ever mean? Oh, it's one of those trees. Mm, ever mean, sure. Dazzle fruit. That's dazzle fruit. Ugh. Yeah, those trees are mean. They're bullies. They're stinky. Hmm. Oh, why do I hear boss music? No, I don't actually know what is going on there. Hello. Keys! I like keys. Keys are cute. Keys! <laughs> Sorry, keys. Ow. You made me drop my shroom. There we go. That's a better picture. Yeah. Get him. Cool. Highly in shroom. Yeah, I like taking my pictures. It's fun. Zooming. <laughs> Got him. Ha ha. Yeah ha ha. Bye bye. Stone handed two two axe and a thick stick. I'll get I'll get the thick stick. Thick. A thick stick. Uh, I'm also going to replace this stone two handed axe. There we go. Because I very much need me. I very much need two. Words are hard. Okay, how am I going to cross this? Uh, I actually do need that boat, surprisingly enough. Mountain duck. What? Oh. Okay, that, that, that's a better picture. There we go. Corsa be Corsa be honey. There we go. Ha ha. Uh, probably shouldn't be hitting them with that. There we go. My bow broke. My bow broke. Okay. Thank you. I will take that honey. I should call it my own. I right, sneak up on a. No, I cannot sneak up on the far fly. That's another star fragment. Star fragments are a lot more common, I'm sure. Let's go and grab a means of getting across this river. Oh, there's a Korok there. I see you. I see you. You're not even hiding. Okay. Yeah. Ha. Ha. <sighs> yeah. Ha. <-ha. laughs> Thank you. I mean, we've got 14 of them, that's not too bad. Okay. Let's get this done. Oh, wrong one.
One. Two. Three. Um, actually, no, I want to attach a... I want to make it a bit more of a motorboat, I think. Uh, so I'm actually going to go into my key item Zonai devices. Here we are. No. Um. There we go. Get rid of that. There we go. Zooming. We're not going the right way, but we're zooming. There we go. <laughs> that kind of worked. Thank you. <laughs> Mid-air adjustments. Grab this, and then we can get up this a bit easier. Okay, and now I can probably rest on this ledge just up here. Cool. Thank you. Beautiful. Okay make our way that way that star fragment will disappear soon so let's not worry too much about that make our way towards the fire i guess Wait, what is that over there what the blue pea doing down there excuse you doing also want to get a picture of this fox uh so let's get a quick picture of this fox foxo lukey lukey there's a picture of a fox yeah. fox <laughs> brilliant grassland fox There we go. That should be a good picture, right? Bloopy! Ah. Thank you, Bloopy. Hmm. Ah. These bubble frog creatures are supposed to live in caves, eh? What's a bubble frog? Uh, don't scare me like that. My poor heart can't take it. Hey, are you by chance looking for bubble frogs too? That's right. Aha, I knew it. They must have asked you too. Supposedly, there are creatures called bubble frogs that live in caves. They're bluish and whitish and stick to walls. Odd stuff. And those two folk at the Woodland Stable in Northeast Eldon. Curious pair. Very strange. Maybe a little off. They're looking for something the bubble frogs drop. They asked me to do the collecting. So, did they ask you too? They offered treasure in exchange. Good treasure. It was a sweet deal. At least, it would have been. But I don't think the first thing about cave creatures... Sorry, I don't know the first thing about cave creatures. That treasure was awful appealing, though. Okay, so I need to make my way... There, got it. Oh, and this is where I was actually going for... Uh, this piece of armour, the climbing up gear, so... Discovery! North Hyrule Plain Cave. This is going to be a big cave, I've got a feeling. Oh, hi, guys. Got him. Ah! 
They're actually quite weak once you get them down. Which is nice. Beautiful. Let's see what's in these chests. Opal! And... A, another woodland shield, which I do not need. No, I am good. Okay. Mm hmm. I, I can get up there easily enough. Beep boop. Thank you. Hmm, I see you. Yeah, I see, I see the bomb flower. There was a frog right there. Aha! Tireless frog, I see you. Aha! Tireless frog! This rare frog prefers dark and moist places. When cooked with monster parts, the elixir it produces will temporarily increase your maximum stamina. Speaking of... Uh, I want a hasty Alexa, please. Thank you. Let's get up here. Sticky lizard! I got the sticky lizard. Oh. Oh, hi. Okay, I need a decent weapon. Got him. A ribbling horn, there we go. And a bright cap. Bright cap. Again, I probably won't get all of the pictures, but um I do like to get a solid solid number. They're good to look at. Satisfying. Ooh, shinies. Yeah, <laughs> grab, 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 grab. Grab them all! Fishy! Glowing glit. Going. Ugh, glowing cave fish. There we go. That was a mouthful. Truly a mouthful. Okay. There's the bubble frog. I see you. Don't think I. Don't. There we go. Thank you. Bubble gem. A strange crystal left by defeated bubble frog. Nice. There's a lot of frogs around here too. Okay, what happens if I... That. That happens. Okay. Uh, and then that's my way out. Uh, okay. North Hyrule Cave. North Hyrule Plain Cave. Hmm. Hmm. Aha! I knew it. I knew it. There is indeed treasure behind a waterfall. Brilliant. Let's. Eh. Oh, it's slippery because, of course, it is. Cool. Okay. Okay. Aha! Beautiful. Clang gear! Let's grab that. Climbing gear. Climb speed up. The ancient technology in this gear will make you a better climber. A special no-slip glove helps you use your energy more efficiently to facilitate nimble climbing. Well, I'm putting that right on. Thank you. Thank you, princess. <laughs> Let's grab all this, too. 
Mine. Okay. Uh, and we'll get back over to a bit more of a trash weapon. Okay. Now let's get out of here. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Beep boop. <laughs> it just pops up out of the ground. Horf. Horf. Thank you for the horf. Horf. Okay, now what is up here? Get out of here. Okay. Burp, burp, burp. Yeah, there's like a whole... There we are, okay. What's over here? Hello. Ow. Hello. What is it meant to depict? It's Impa! What a surprise it is to see you here after all this time, Link. It's Impa, the Sheikah Elder. I heard you had gone missing. It is certainly a relief to see you back and in one piece, more or less. And Princess Zelda, where is she? Well, you see, there was this mummy guy. Uh, what? She still has yet to return? In that case, we must use all available means to search for her. Link, when Princess Zelda went missing, something else happened all over Hyrule. During the upheaval, huge pictures appeared out of nowhere. Images that sprawled across fields and hills. We are calling them geoglyphs. I understand they have been found in locations across the kingdom. Kado and I are travelling from region to region in hopes of seeing them all. Yeah. I noticed this geoglyph from a distance while I was standing on a high ground. Examining it up close, I could not make out what it depicted. I thought I might have a better view from up in the sky. I took to the air in the balloon Pura gave me, but then alas, the wind struck and completely sheared the balloon off the base. I have racked my brain for ways to reattach the two parts to no avail. Well, I can do that. Uh, I will do that imminently. Uh, I want to go and check in on some bits and pieces down here. So I will see you in a second. <laughs> okay. Because I have friends to make and rupees to make as well. <laughs> I was, was going to try and say something smart, but I'm like, I want to make some rupees as well. Kado, were you able to speak with Lady Impa? She should be able to contribute to the search of Princess Zelda, but with our research boon in its current state. At any rate, does Lady Impa intend to continue her pondering over there? I should really ask her to come into the stable about now so she doesn't wear herself out. Do, 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 do. New Serene Stable. Yeah. Oh, a customer. Hi there, and welcome to New Serene Stable. I'm kind of in the middle of something, but if you'd like to use the stable, you can go up to the counter. What are you up to? <laughs> Aha, well, since you asked. Yeah, it's kind of broken, isn't it? <laughs> After a long, tireless search, I found a wagon to call my own. Look at this butte. Mm. Okay, yes, clearly it's a fixer-upper. But I can replace the missing wheels using building materials from the stable. Then I just have to catch a wild horse to hook the wagon up to, and I'll be set. Building materials? Yeah. There's a stash of unused building materials at every stable. No two stashes will have the exact same materials. Ooh. But they have one thing in common. They're open for everyone to use, no questions asked. Wild horse? Huh? If you catch a wild horse, you can make it your own. There's lots of them around here, as a matter of fact. It's hard to catch them, though. You have to crouch down and sneak up on them, or they'll run away. Even after you do catch one, you have to suit the horse, or you'll get thrown off. I always mess that part up. Fine, don't offer to help. Yeesh, do I look like I can fix a horse-drawn wagon on my own? It's not as if I wouldn't pay you back. I'll give you all my savings. <sighs> horse-drawn dreams. Well, I can fix one thing immediately. Love how this is like the immediate thing I fix. It's like, oh, finding Princess Zelda? Nah, fixing a wagon? Let's go! <laughs> Let's do it! Oh. Not quite fixed on right. Cool. I also see that well, don't worry. Okay, there's the wheels. Huh? What? It's fixed? 
You know it. Ooh, oh, how's my neck? I do apologize if you heard those clicks there. Huh? It's fixed. Did you do this for me? Uh huh. Ah. Thank you so, so much. It's like a brand new wagon with wheels and everything. Now I'm only one step away from my dream of having a horse drawn wagon. Of course, that last hurdle was the hardest catching a wild horse. As soon as I get near a wild horse, it runs off. How am I going to catch one? I'm going to find it for you. And I see a balloon. Not that there's a balloon in the sky. This is not a balloon in the sky. Be, 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 be. Ah, yes. The mighty mop. Thank you. <laughs> dog. Dog. Hylian Retriever. Hello, dog. Dog. Oh, you look so bluffy. <laughs> look at him bluffing. Adorable. Okay. Nope. Eat it! Ha-ha! And in the meantime, I shall grab you some more. There you go. And then we'll wait, we'll go and get the treasure. We will sort out the wild horse, we'll go in the well, and then we will go and fix everything. Go on, you can do it. There you are. And after that, one more. Nom, 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 nom. One more. And then you can show me the treasure, boy. What's that, lassie? There's a boy stuck in the well. No, not the well. Okay. <laughs> Where are you going to take me? Hmm. Ah. Watch out! Oh, a red rupee. 20 rupees. It's red luster tickles your heart sting. Okay. So that's that bit done. Uh, yeah, let's go get a horse first. Let's go get horse. Okay, I've got a slight speed up. Oh. I think that I do it. Yes, summer wing butterfly. Got it. Nailed it. Okay. Okay, we need to sneak up behind this fellow. This guy should be a bit easier to tame. Hopefully. Okay. There we go. Didn't even have to tame them. All sorted. Okay. Just slowly ride them up. Hello! I have you a horse. Treat Spot well. Did you catch this angel for me? It's just what I pictured. Perfect for pulling my wagon. All yours. Huh? You mean that? You'd really part with such a wonderful horse? Thank you! Wow, who knew stuff like this really happened? I'm so happy. Just go ahead and put a harness on it. A harness? A harness is a piece of equipment that you can put on a ho on horses you own. With a harness, you can connect your horse to a wagon or an item you need to take somewhere. If you collect enough pony points, you can get one as a prize. So bear with me a moment. There we go. We're just going to attach a harness to Spot and it'll be fine. We'll be all good. And we're all set. Yeah, look at them go. I can't believe it, a wagon of my own, and a beautiful horse to pull it. To think, I started with that old piece of junk and ended up with this. Amazing. Thank you so, so much. Here, it's all I have left after buying the wagon. I'm begging you, no, forcing you to take it, please. Ooh, 100 rupees. It's dazzling silver light to reflect your beaming smile. That's like doubling my money. Oh, well, that's right, there's one last order of business. What's your name? Link. Link? Hmm. Zumi. Link. Maybe Zuli? Or Lumi? Or what about Zunk? <laughs> 
I'll call this weapon, so this weapon, oh dear, Wagon Zunk. <laughs> I promise to look after Zunk for as long as I live. Zunk percent, let's go! Full Zunk percent! Feel free to come visit the two of us anytime. Cute. Horse drawn dreams complete. Hi. Oh, Link, did you come to check in on Zunk? Since you worked so hard to make my wagon complete, I promise I'll never, ever let anything happen to it. But is that all you wanted, or do you need something from me? I may not be of much help, unless you want to hear some of the things I know about horses. Tell me about Hoof. Hmm, let's see. I think you know how to catch them by sneaking up quietly from behind. Oh, do you know how to tell a horse's temperament from the pattern on its pelt? Horses with the spots are docile and easier to tame. That makes them easier to catch. Ones that are one colour with no patterns tend to be wilder and more difficult to tame. But they're faster and stronger, and you can spur them on more. Good to know, right? I'm kind of an expert on horses, so if you want to learn more, just ask. I won't reveal all my secrets at once. Gotta keep them coming back. Oh dear. Okay, into the well we go. I'm just gonna pick this up to put it back down again. Okay, into the well. Splish. There we are. And break cap. Why not? Okay, let's see what we can find. Hmm. Interesting. So I'll give this a quick smack. A quick smack. Oh. Okay. Does that go anywhere? I'm curious. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Where's this gonna go? Okay, it's a little well. That's fine. Little wells are fun too. Arrow! Arrow! Okay, what's in here? It's a purple rupee! 50 rupees. It's violet glow, fills your heart with generosity. That is a lot of rupees. I'm very happy about that. Then a quicker way out of here. Hi. <laughs> Just pop right out. You doing alright over here? Do you need something? If so, you'd better uh, you're better off asking a stable worker for help. I'm just a visitor. My older brothers have been arguing incessantly about where to go next. It's exhausting. I got so tired of listening to them that I had to seek refuge out here. I don't put much faith in either legends or rumours, but more than that, I found the caves and fallen ruins caused by the evil to be a bit much. Much more interesting area of study. I can't use words today. Can you tell? I played nine hours of Tears of the Kingdom yesterday. It's uh, definitely... Uh, it's good, it's good, but uh, yeah, brain definitely not functioning at as high a level as I would like right now for words. Words. Okay, all those arrows. <gasps> Middle. Yeah. Hi, bud. Hey there, we meet again. Are you still moving forward on this little journey we call life? Well then, can I tempt you to buy or are you selling? What have you got first? Um, I'll buy all your arrows. There we go. There we go. Uh, everything else I'm fine on. Thank you for your business. Look, uh, have a look at what I've got. Just to see if there's anything I can sell. Um, not really. I pretty much like everything I've got. I mean, I'll sell the opal. Um, apart from that, though... I think I'm pretty good. Like, maybe some monster parts? Like a Bokoblin Fang? Um, let's actually sort this by type right now. Some Bokoblin Horns. Wow! Yeah, that, that, that's pretty much all, all I really want to sell immediately. Um, yeah. Thank you for business! Bye bye. Okay, let's have a look what is going on in here. Hmm. Some bridles, some tack. Tack! That's what it was called. I was trying to think of what the um name of uh 
the horse stuff was yesterday. So, tomatoes and bright mushrooms. Work in progress, do not touch. What, what are you two arguing about? A legendary weapon, you say? Anya, give that a little more thought. Things with legendary in the title are usually just stories. There's simply no way it exists. But that rumoured beast you're after, that's what's just a story. No, no, go to any stable in the Hyrule and you'll find people excited about the rumoured beast. Stables are places where information gathers. If it weren't true, you wouldn't hear about it at so many stables. Even if I grant you that, we don't stand to gain anything by finding this rumoured beast. A legendary weapon, on the other hand, is bound to be strong indeed. You would have nothing to fear of monsters. And what if this weapon is legendarily brittle and useless, hmm? Let's start visiting stables to gather information and track down that rumoured beast. Okay. The Pony Points Ledger, let's get our reward. Hey. Ah, yes, I'll be right with you. Ah. You'd like to get your Pony Points reward, right? Uh -huh. Your reward for three points is a towing harness. A doable harness that comes as a set with a horse saddle. Attach a wagon or other object to the harness for a horse to tow. Oh. A harness is a type of horse gear that you can attach to various things. For instance, a wagon or an item you'd like to tow somewhere. If you save up just two more points, uh -huh. the horse god fabric will be yours. It's a one-of-a-kind item you can bring to the Hateno Village dye shop over in Nakluda. We appreciate your patronage. Nice. Let's see, what's in this issue of the Lucky Clover Gazette? What's their news? Freezing temperatures bring feathery shivers to the Rito. Rito Village is facing a food shortage as cold winds make travel to the village. Dangerous for resident and visitor alike. That's awful. Sounds like anyone trying to get to Rito Village needs to prepare themselves for harsh freezing weather. So much to read what about the other stories. Oh, now this is interesting. The Lucky Clover Gazette is here for you. The Lucky Clover Gazette has opened the offices at Rito Stable. Any eager new journalists are encouraged to apply. That's exactly what I want to do. So that stable has become a newspaper company then. Just what you thought. Just when you thought you've seen everything. If I'm ever near Rito Village, I might just drop by and see what it's all about. So much to read. It's strange to think that I can learn about world affairs just by reading the paper. These magnificent geniuses at the Lucky Clover Gazette. Hello. Uh, meant to say the new Seren Stable. Yeah, sorry. I just moved over here from Rito Stable, so I keep saying the wrong name. What's up? It was a stable much like this one, in front of Rito Village to the west. The big cold snap shut it down, though. I think it was replaced by a newspaper company or something. Hebrew was always cold, but it's gotten really bad. If you go to Rito Village, you need to prepare for extreme weather. Take this. Ooh, spicy elixir. I'm glad I talked to them now. Spicy Elixir. Cold resistance, 3 minutes, 40 seconds. Grants a low level warming effect, increasing your resistance to cold environments. Very useful when exploring snow-covered mountains. I don't need it anymore, so if you'd like to use the stable, please talk to the shopkeep. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, also, I just realised that uh, they're blowing smoke. Uh, smoke, smoke, so you can actually see the thing there. That's fun. And then I need to get up to that at some point. But for now, we've got this. The Sinakawak Shrine. How many orb do I have? How many light orb? Two. Two light orb. Okay. Hmm. Hi. Let's go in. Mm. <clears throat> Fairies which can heal a bit of damage are most commonly found near fairy fountains. I'm guessing is what it was going to say. An uplifting device. Okay. Ah. Hot air balloon. Makes sense. Yeah, look at that. Give me that. <laughs> beep boop. Beep beep. Beep boop.
There we go. Up we go. Oh dear. Okay, don't get caught on that though. Whee! That's fun. I like that. <laughs> Brother, 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 brother. Uh, so we've got something through there. We need that to hit that. Okay. So that needs to stay there. Get down. So if I just do that, that will hit that, right? There we go. And that will let me through. But there is also something up there. Can I get up there? Is it anything special? Not that I can see. Okay. Oh, now we're high up. Oh. Okay. What are we trying to do here? We've got a small orb and a big orb. Okay. Small orb, big orb. Big orb goes to a treasure chest. Small orb goes to that one. Okay. Uh, and I do not have anything which can, like, blow around. Uh huh. Okay, grab that. That looks like a door as well. Okay. So we, we can get the small orb in. Like that. And then we can stand next to it. Um, I'm just going to drop this for now. to do that. Oh dear, Duh, careful! Okay, I, I can physically attach this, so we'll do that. Um, and then... I think I need to move out a little bit more, don't I? Move it this way. And then... Grab one of, grab one of these. Okay. And we'll slowly rise up. Whee! There we go, so that's that one. There we go. That's one. And then I should be able to attach a second to it. So if I do want to move the big orb. Firstly, I need to do that. Then do that. Grab hold of big orb. Big orb. Put big orb there. <laughs> big orb. And start grabbing hold of these. Okay. Grab hold of this one. Uh, is there anywhere I can stand? Yes. And then we will slowly go up.
There we go. Very slowly. <laughs> At a snail's pace we will go. Will I need that third one? There we go. Doesn't technically have weight if I'm uh, holding it with my hand, I guess. So that makes sense. There we go. Okie dokie. Lesson learned. Things do not have weight if you are holding with the ultra hand. <sighs> Opal. And then we'll stick the little one in. Visitor to the Shrine of Light. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to let each one of these play out. Oh dear. I've done well to reach this place, Lukey. Yeah. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Oh, no. <laughs> or... Do 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 light of blessing. Yeah. I don't know where I lost half heart, but yeah. May the lights of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Okay, now we can go and fix the hot table on. Hmm. Link must be feeling very lonely. Armoured enemies. The sword is useless against enemies encased in rocky armour. Use a hammer to smash the armour apart. Ooh. I didn't know that. Okay, do, do I want to do the geoglyph first, or do I want to try and get that? I think I want to try and get that, to be honest. I really do, because I want to see the map area. Is that another chasm? No. Okay. It is not a chasm. I mean, it kind of is a chasm, but it's not one of the chasms. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Who did? No. Whew. I see it. Let me add it. Let me add it. Plus, give me those peppers. <laughs> oh. Is this a big lake of some description? It is, you know. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I just need to get that. What is going on up there? So I saw a bird in the sky. Oh, wait, it's raining. <gasps> it's Hestu! Is that Hestu? No! No, how are you here of all places right now? Oh no, they're upset. Shalaka. Buddy, 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 buddy. I've been finding your um, Korok seeds. There's a bloopy there too. Bloopy. Thank you, bloopy buddy. Oh, there's a big tree. Blue rupee, five rupees. It's shiny blue facets make you weak in the knees. Buddy, buddy, buddy. You really don't want this smoke. 
One, two. Yo, it's sick. I just hit them with the one, two, buckle my shoe, three, four. <laughs> Yo. What's up, buddy? Those trees over there. So scary, Shalaka. Hestu's concerns, side adventure. Side adventures? Oh, side quests are different from side adventures. You ran into the Korok Hestu at the foot of Lindor's brow. He's afraid of something and has stopped in his tracks. There are trees where we pointed. But what could he be, be so afraid of? Uh. Tree. That makes more sense. Buddy, buddy, buddy. I've got you figured out. I'm just going to cut you down. There we go. Shalakala? The scary things are gone. They are, buddy. You see me, you see me. My name is Hestu. I'm the musician of Korok Forest, up northeast. I'm known for my maracas and my dancing. Thanks for your help, Shashaka. To show my appreciation, I'll do a little dance for you and make your pouch bigger. But my maracas aren't working anymore. The Korok seeds inside are all gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? The children of the forest must have taken them again. If I had even one Korok seed, I could sing and dance and use my powers to help you. Hey, hey, buddy, I've got, I've got Korok seeds just for you. Korok seeds make a really great sound when you put them in maracas, but the seeds spilled all over the place when I broke them. And I think the children of the forest took the seeds while I was all in a panic. <gasps> Hang on. <gasps> do you have a Korok seed? You do! You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you give me a Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger. Oh lord, here we go again. Shellacass, which stash do you want more slots in? Shields. I always need more shields. Okay, I'll just need one Korok seed. Deal? Let the expansion begin! Ooh. <gasps> He's got backup dancers now. Let's go. He's got backup dancers. Amazing boy band. We're gonna have to. Do 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 Wanna make sure I capture that boy band moment. There we are. Da na 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 na. Perfect. Expander band band shield stash shakala. So so are you happy with it? If you bring me more Korok seeds, I'll expand your inventory again. Hestu's concerns complete. Well, I've got more on me now. I'm in the middle of travelling. I'm thinking about heading east next. There's so many monsters these days that travelling is dangerous. What I'd like is to find somewhere I can relax. I like lively places, so maybe I'll go somewhere lots of people hang out. <gasps> Wait a sec, you still have Korok seeds on you? Yes, I can smell them. I'll be here a little longer. You want me to make your pouch even bigger? Give me another... Give me a weapon. Sure, okay. I'll just need one Korok seed. Here you go, buddy. Yeah! Boy band. There we go. Caught, caught the boy band moment that time. Lovely. Expand a band band weapons to shakala. Oh, look at the time. I've got to get a move on. I'll be heading east soon. I hope I can find a place where I can relax. I still don't have enough Korok seeds, so get out there and find me for more, okay? Alrighty, next time we meet, let's dance together. So I need to go east. Hestu's profile has been created. Hestu, spirited musician of Korok Forest. A tree fairy with a song in his heart. He's only visible to certain people. The power of his dance can increase the size of Link's pouches, but he has trouble keeping track of the Korok seeds his magical maracas require. Okay, so he said he wants to head east. Uh, let's go to the map. Northeast. He wants to go somewhere where people can relax. So that would probably be like... Uh, here. 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 I'm going to put, put a little Korok seed here for Hestu. There we go. Thanks, Hestu, buddy. Now let's get up here. Whew. Oh, interesting. Oh! Okay, I guess we're going underground first. Eh. 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 
Mm. There we go. Always look up. People never look up enough. I learned that from Luki. Yahaha! Yeah. Yeah Croc seed! Bye bye. There we go. So you're hiding in Shroom, but we're also going. Dupe! Discovery! Lindor's Brow Cave. Oh, this goes deep. Oh. Oh, this goes deep. Okay. Get some more bright caps. Do not want to drown. Okay, let me out of this madness. There we go. Whew, dear. Okay. In another cave. Let's go. Bright cap, more bright bloom seeds. I just love how distracted I can get. <laughs> Give me this. Amble. <laughs> Why do I hear boss music? Oh, it's a shrine. Okay. Got ourselves a shrine down here. Hmm. Oh. Ah. Uh, I don't like that. Okay. Uh. Uh. Run. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. I'm I'm dead down here. I'm dead. Uh. Oh, oh, I did not like that. I did not like that. Oh god. Um Okay. Panic. Um um Bleh. Give me that. Take me into the techie happen shrine. I was joking when I said I thought I heard boss music. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Not cool, man. Not cool. Ugh. Okay. Monster tips. Let's have a boss. Uh. Oh, this feels like an important shrine. The Ra'uru's Ra Blessing. The Taki e Happin Shrine. Okay. Uh... Uh, mild panic over, I guess. I guess it was just even getting here because of, of that really horrible blah, stuff. Large zone I charge. Beautiful. Energy boost. Okay. Oh, I did not like that. That was spooky. <laughs> Apparently I've done well to reach this place. Well, I definitely scared myself half to death. Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That, that's the most I think I've been scared in a, in a Zelda game so far. Because I couldn't heal that damage. Not in the moment, at least. Yeah, that should be four, right? Nice. Upgrades! Upgrades, people! Upgrades! May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Wonderful. I now need to get out of here. Because I don't want to be down here. It's a scary place. A very, very scary place. If it's still following me, I I'm... 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 Uh, I'm out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Okay. 
We found 16 shrines. That's not bad. Is it still after me? No. Yes. Okay. Let me out. Oh, it's not going to let me out. It's not going to let me out. Is it going to let me out? Oh, dear. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay, we're out. <laughs> so swim through this for a bit. Whew. Hello. Oh, hi. Okay. Oh, we need to build our way over to it. Nice. Oh. Spooky. Scary. No skeletons, luckily, because I didn't die. But still spooky and scary. Okay, we need to build ourselves a ramp to get up there. Mm. Oh, hi. <laughs> Thing up there. Um, yes. Okay, I need to build at 45. I need to build at like 45 degree angles. So I need to do like that. Where's well, it's going to be at like a 45 degree angle right now. That will do, I guess. Okay. Then I'll be able to get up into the sky a little easier. Okay, that's two. Grab this one. Oh, excuse me. Grab this one. Okie dokie. Stick that on. Keep going. Oh, really doesn't like that. There we go. Grab this. Whew. Oh, not quite what I wanted. There we go. That should do it, right? I mean, it's a pretty big... Uh... No, I, need, I need to get it from this end. Too far. There we go. Hmm. It's got to be a way for me to get higher to put that down properly. Or I could just climb it. To be fair, although it is raining, but I do have I do have the sticky um thing. So if I do that, it will float. <laughs> It's not completely useless. If I do that, I can run over this, which saves some stamina. Then I can use the sticky elixir or slip resistance. And I can climb. Preparation. Preparation is key. Oh. There we go. Lindor's Brow Skyview Tower. Didn't need to build a whole bloody thing to get up here. I did it all by myself. Okay. Wondering if I could see anything. Oh, excuse me. Let's get in there. cartography type thing I just love I, I love in games 
where you have to generate your own map like this. Boop. Oh, we're going to find so much in the way of, like, Sky Islands. We sure good. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Surface map updated. Okay, not too much has changed. There we go. Sky map updated. It's got like a whole helix thing up in the sky. Okay. Oh, I can get to the helix thing. Beautiful. Okay. Work helix thing to helix thing, because I want to get to that. Whatever that might be, I want to get to that. Okay. Don't have a way of getting up, so I'm going to have to... Oh, dear. Okay. See if my glide will take me to it. Ah, oh, it's one of the cherry blossom trees. I guess we'll go from the top and work our way down. Oh, okay, it's not a cherry blossom tree, but still cool. Interesting. Sunderlions. It feels like such different biomes, and I love that. I'm gonna go flat for a bit. Okay, Lukey, love you. Mm. Love you too. Yeah. What? Oh, shoot. Oh. I probably shouldn't wear a Chelsea shirt. <laughs> probably not. Oh, dazzle fruit. Give me those dazzle fruit. Still got the slip resistance as well from earlier. Especially when there's a palace game on today. Oh no! <laughs> I'm hearing birds song. Oh, can I see any birds? Love you later. Snuggle you later. Love you. Oh, I don't see any birds. Okay. Oh, well, let's see what this is then. Oh, is this like Sky Ring Challenge? Maybe? Courage Island. Hyrule Ridge Sky. Okay. Interesting. We're getting there. Let's put it slowly. Whew. Nice. I don't know what that does. What? Oh. I think that's the first time we've seen one of those spawn. Well, okay then. Yay. Get out of this for a second. I think I got it. Bright chested duck. Duck. Quack. Oh. <sighs> Let's grab a picture of the Sunderlions. Oh, Stambol. 
stand bulb. And a sunblind. Hmm. Nice. Nice. Sky shroom. Wonderful, wonderful sky shroom. See what else we can't find. More stand bulbs, more stand bulbs. A lot of good stuff up here. Another stand bulb. See one of those own eyeball things. Steward Construct, welcome. This is the site of a ceremony to test your courage. Courage is demonstrated by diving headlong through the sky. No challengers have visited this island in a long time. I am glad you have come. I witnessed your dive earlier. You seem to have come prepared. Now then, let us commence with the dive ceremony. Are you prepared? Dive ceremony? Could it be that you do not know of the dive ceremony? My apologies. Allow me to explain. The dive ceremony is a trial that tests your courage. It is a rite by which Zonai youth come of age. The starting position is the Sky Island far above here. The challenger leaps from there. They must pass through all the rings in a set amount of time. And wish you luck in formally overcoming the trial. Those who succeed receive a special outfit to mark adulthood. Go on, show me your courage. I'll do it. Ah, I perhaps forgot to mention one thing. I require one Zonai charge as an offering. Offering? Our custom since long ago has been for participants in the ceremony to offer a Zonai charge to the island. No Zonai charges have been provided for many years. We are in short supply. Your cooperation will be appreciated. Go for it. Then follow me to the starting position. Your task is to pass through all of the rings in 35 seconds or less. Okay, I can do that. I, th I think I did that with my um initial run, but sure. Go. Okay. Beautiful. Finished. 25.2 seconds. I'll take it. I'll get a, a nice new outfit. New Zonai outfit. Your time is 25.2. That counts as a success. Though not by much. Excuse me, steward. I have here the mark of your maturity. You have earned this. A glide shirt. Oh, skydive mobility up. The cloth soon to the shirt helps it catch air, increasing the wearer's ability to glide while they climb it from the sky. Huh. You completed the ceremony, but you must not settle for mere completion. Continue to apply yourself and aim to beat our fastest record time of 20 seconds. Will you attempt the ceremony again? I will require an offering of one zone I charge. Uh, for now, I'll pass. I await your next attempt. Because I want to change. Nice. Okay, let's do it. Uh, I'll do it. Yes. I want to make sure I've got full maneuverability so I can try and uh, slam this. Okay. Because I'm guessing you get extra stuff if you do it. I missed. Boo. Boo. You failed to pass through every ring. Please return to my position. Okay. I can do it. I can do it. I know I can do it. I glided for too long. Oh. Okay. Yep. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I've got zone eye charges for days, so I'm good to go. Oh, that was close. Oh, I missed it again. No, I missed it again. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. I've got to dive right through that middle bit to save time. Okay, 
Let's do this. Yep. I can do it. I can do it. Okay. 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 <laughs> Jump! Oh, are you kidding me? Damn it, twenty point zero three. It's good, but it's not good enough. Your time was 20.03, nice try. Your trick to descending quickly is to dive as much as possible. Find your courage and accelerate as much as you dare. You may be able to beat the current record, damn it. Okay, again, 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 again. Okay. I've just gotta, I've just gotta go. Okay. Three, two, one, go. No. I don't think this is it, Chief. Oh. Damn it. I've got to really just jump straight off the thing. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, come on, I want to do this. I know I can do it. Okay. I know I can do it. Jump! I don't think this is it because of that jump. New record! New record! You cannot glide a single second there. Oof. Wonderful. Your time is 18.01. This is an astonishing new record. My records indicate that you are faster and braver than any previous challenger. I award this to you in honour of your extraordinary record. You have earned it. A large Zonai charge. Okay. Well, I must have spent, what, four to get that? So, Please tell me your name. I will register you as the record holder. Understood. Your name is Link. I have registered you as the record holder. Will you attempt the ceremony again? I'll pass. <laughs> I will await your next attempt. Yes! Let's go! Okay, oh, Sandaline. Uh, I need to pop. These in. Oh! Whoa, what do we get here then? A balloon! Okay, that is legitimately useful. A Zonai device that fills when uh, filled with hot air. The hotter the air, the quicker it rises. Possible parts. That's new. Time bomb? A Zonai device for a timed explosion. Its blast can activate other Zonai devices. Interesting. We've got some balloons. Uh, I think I'll do four more of these. <sighs> Balloons are useful. <laughs> and then the time bomb can be good for breaking open big, uh, big loads of stuff. Okay. Well. Uh, next up, I guess we're going into Taunhai Shrine, but I think we shall leave that for tomorrow because we just fell really heckin' far down there. Look at that! It's crazy! We did indeed fall quite the distance indeed, and we have a new outfit to uh, show you that we did indeed do that because if we go to outfits, we now have the Glide shirt, which is 
really quite pretty actually, I really do quite like that, but we're going to go over to this in case the next shrine is indeed a combat shrine, but we shall find out tomorrow. I've been Loki, Loki Niden, I hope you have a good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are on the script, and I shall see you 